Hi there, this is Devil Warrior. In this video, I'm going to be showing the Game of Thrones Eagle model Viserion. So, this is the second premium subscription model that Eagle have released so far. The first one was based on Rhaegar, which I've made a video on before, and the third one's going to be on Drogon. So, there's a few things in my previous video on Rhaegar that I didn't cover that I thought would be kind of interesting to show in this video. The first one is the packaging this model actually comes in, and the second thing is to talk a little bit about the pricing. And also, on top of that, I can actually show a comparison directly of the two dragons, so I can show you how Rhaegar and Viserion both square up next to each other, which would be kind of cool to show. Um, so I'll start with the packaging. So your standard Eomos model comes packaged like this. It's in a plastic uh, container with uh, some cardboard on the back. So it's just standard, it's decent packaging. Whereas your premium subscription models, such as Rhaegar as well, um, come packaged in this big box here. I've got it open right now just so it's easier to show in the video. So it comes like this, kind of like a Dark Horse Deluxe statue in a way. Um, it's well protected, it's got all this information around the side of it. Um, and inside it's actually packaged in this material here. If I lift this up, you can see, so it just it comes contained there. So it's, yeah, it's contained very well. Obviously, they value these models much more, so they package them pretty nicely, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, also, on top of that, price-wise, uh, your standard Eagle Moss model is nine pound. Your special edition models, such as Magnum Mighty, uh, is nineteen pound. Whereas Viserion here and Rhaegal, being premium subscription models, are both priced at thirty-five pounds. So they're four times the value of the normal model. So it kind of explains the nice packaging and everything like that, which is kind of cool. And if you didn't watch my first video, just a few other notes. Uh, to acquire a model like this, you can buy it directly through the Eagles website, or if you're a premium subscription uh, subscriber, sorry, um, you can, you're going to get it for free anyway, so there's no point of buying it directly through the website. Um, but yeah, I thought that's, that's everything really. Now I thought I'd go on to show you a comparison of the two dragons. So here we've got Rhaegal on the left, who I showed in my previous video uh, in depth. I'm just going to quickly cover him here, so you get a direct idea of kind of how the pose has changed. Because you may have noticed that Viserion um, looks very similar to Rhaegal here, apart from they flipped him. Uh, there's a few minor changes, such as with Viserion, his mouth is closed, whereas with Rhaegal, his mouth is open. Also, the towels back here, you can see that Viserion's towels at an angle, whereas uh, Rhaegal's is completely flat. The posture is also a little bit different, so if I was going to put these dragons both at the side here, you can see that Viserion stands a little taller, and I think that's generally because uh, Rhaegal's slouching a little bit. So yeah, they're the main differences, obviously, aside from the fact that they're painted a different colour. You can see both of them have this white painted underneath their neck. It must be like some uh, symbolic fin all the dragons have. Maybe when they release Drogon they'll paint some white underneath his neck as well. Um, as far as paint job goes, uh, I, I do think my Rhaegar has been painted a little bit better. I'll go over the reasons why in a minute. Uh, but apart from that, that's, that's really kind of how the dragons look side by side. Um, very similar really. Essentially the same model but just with a, few, a few slight uh, changes here and there. Um, show you from the side here as well. Just to get a few angles, I will go in depth and show you Viserion close up. But I thought it would be cool to include both dragons, just so you get a nice idea. Um, and here's them both from the back here. Right, so that's essentially it. I'll just show you one more angle, which is this last angle. Realistic when Drogon comes, Drogon's going to be in the middle since uh, that's kind of how it's intended to look, I guess. Uh, if you see the posture of Drogon, uh, they've advertised it already. Both these winds flare out, so it probably be, yeah, it's ideal really to put them in the middle. So yeah, that's um, a little comparison of how those two look side by side. Now to go on actually to Vir Viserion himself. Okay, I'll start by showing Viserion at this angle, which is the angle he's supposed to be displayed in. And I'll talk a little bit about how he looks from this angle. I do think with my Viserion model in particular, it, the paintwork could have been a little bit better. Um, when comparing it directly to the magazine here, I feel that the yellow is much more prominent around the neck and the top of the scales than it is on my model. Also, uh, along the bone structure here, I feel that the yellow is more visible, and also across the bones going up the winds here. Uh, also with the orange on the winds, uh, it comes further down on the actual image um, that it doesn't mind, so it's a bit too much grey I feel. And also with the yellow here, it's supposed to blend in more than it does, whereas on my model it looks like they've just got three yellow, uh, um, yellow strokes from the paintbrush and just painted across here. And they've done the same with the other side of the wind. I think that definitely, it makes me feel like it's been a little bit rushed in its paintwork. Aside from that, the model does look really cool. Um, but I thought I'd just point that out. Hopefully other people's models are painted a little bit uh, better than this. Um, I'm not saying it's bad by any means, but I do think that it could have been better. Um, while actually looking at it itself, the face is very cool. I like how they've made those minor changes, uh, such as the, you know, the mouth being closed and with the towel and all, the, all those other things. Just so it's uh, you know unique in comparison to the Viserion uh, Rhaegar one, not a direct clone. The face looks really cool. You can see the scales here, and the neck here, and all the scales across the chest here and stomach area. 
and here you can see the wind structure and yeah you might be able to get a bit of a better understanding of what I'm talking about here I just feel that that could have been a little bit better painted uh, and here's how a serum looks from the back I'm going to show you a bird's eye, a bit of a bird's eye view as well because it's quite a cool angle this to see him from a bird's eye view because you can see all the scowls going across the back and across the towel here also another thing to note on the um, the serial model I've noticed the actual base uh, looking at it now is darker than the base on the Rega, uh, the Rega model which is uh, more of a silver whereas this one's more of a grey which is just a small note um, small thing to note and here's how it looks around the side, so here's the towel coming under at a side angle here. You may notice that this model definitely, because um, Viserion is like a, a grey, uh, a greyish yellow dragon, especially in the show, you can see it more now as he ages when he was younger. He, he was definitely like full on yellow, and as if you notice with the dragons as they kind of age, with Rhaegal and Viserion in the show, they kind of become less green and less yellow, there's, there are uh, you know, there are shades of grey now, especially with Viserion in the later season, later seasons, you can really notice the grey coming out, um, so it is interesting to get a bit close up and see how much grey they've actually put on this dragon, it's crazy, um, but it looks cool, uh, and this is how it looks from this angle, and let me definitely have to go up here and show you this face from this angle as well, it looks, looks really cool, Viserion has a really serpent-like look, to his face, I feel. Um, it looks a bit sneaky in a way uh, when you compare it with Rhaegal's, which looks a bit more fierce. It's cool though. And just to show a little bit the downward angle here underneath Sarah himself. Right, so I think I've done, covered this quite for quite some time now. I think I should go on to the magazine now, move on and show you the kind of content that's inside this magazine. So, you have your standard, okay, let's get some focus here. So you have your standard, what's gonna be inside this issue, and there's a little introduction, talking about uh, Viserion himself, and kind of the areas they're focusing on here, so you can see uh, rigid head, long spiky neck, um, talking about the winds here. Uh, with, in terms of the height, it says 17 millimeters here, and the wind span 160 millimeters, which is exactly the same as Rhaegal. But you may have noticed, as I pointed out earlier, the Seren is actually a little bit taller um, than Rhaegal's model, which is kind of interesting to note. Um, so I'm not sure if the height should be labeled exactly the same. It depends where they measure it from, really. From the head, uh, the Seren's definitely taller. Inside the magazine, it's different from the other one. It goes into Daenerys Targaryen, the kind of the Targaryen legacy. Um, to start off, hopefully you can read this here. I know my shadow's been a bit overbearing right now, so make it might be make it a little bit hard to read. And that's better there. And yeah, this is just talking about the Targaryen legacy and when Daenerys acquires an army, kind of the small uh, pathway she's been going on. Obviously, with the dragons, um, it is limited to what it can talk about. You can see with this magazine, it is very small. And on top of that, there's after this, there's only one more page. As there is a limited amount of information, unless you want to go into a lot of lore about the dragons themselves. Um, and over here, we've got the ploy of the dragons. So this is when they attacked the fleet that was attacking Marie, uh, Marine. And this is when Tyrion frees the dragons. And over here, this is when they set a fire to the fleet. And it's just saying what's going to be uh, expected next time, which I guess will be in the Drogon magazine. Get some focus here to see the whole page. Hopefully that shadow isn't too overbearing. And on the back, just this picture of a serum there. Okay, so let's put those magazines over there. Got them next to each other there. And I went in this shot by just showing the serum over here. So yeah, this has uh, been a video on the Game of Thrones model with Serion. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see ya.